Welcome back to SMKR. Up next is another model kit review. This time it is the Ravel Star Wars TIE Fighter. And uh, what I can make out on this, it looks like it's a little bit larger than 1 48th scale. And if you can see here the life, you know, the size of the figure, this is what the size of the figure looks like. So it looks more like 1 32nd scale or even 1 40th scale. Uh, it doesn't say on the box. This is a snap type kit. Um, we'll look at the box art. Basically, um, some real photographs of the model kit itself. So it is a pretty large kit. And uh, really has some very nice details for what, for what you're getting in this kit. Here's the side box. Kit number 85. 1875. These are readily available at Walmart too. So, and here's a breakdown of the kit parts themselves. Not very many, not as many as what was as found in the Bandai kit. And of course, you have some of the other kits that are available out there. So I will be. I'll open this up, and it is a side opening box, just typical of Ravel, typical of Ravel Germany. That is. However, this is a regular Ravel kit here in the U.S. I'll be back with the uh, open parts and the contents. All right, this is what it looks like when I uh, pulled everything out of the box. A couple items come popping out at the end, which are your clear parts, canopies, and the pilot himself. Okay, which looks to be a little bit larger than 132nd, but could be around 140th. Decals, I mean not the decals, the kit instructions. There are no decals with this. This is pre-painted. And there we go. Now here, like I was talking about, kind of rem reminiscent of the Bandai kit, how the, the frame is separate. However, they did. Um, looks like they did mold them together here in this case. Or snapped, somebody snapped it together already looks like. So it looks like we get one of these and then another one here. So I'm going to open these up and we'll get a closer look at the kit parts. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and open the plastic up while you watch. And you can see they actually uh, double wrapped things. So we have this part here. And it looks like it's already been assembled a little bit. And then the other the other side is wrapped in plastic. So there kind of saves on the marring. You can see there's uh, really flat looking panels here. Great detail. Once again, even on this for this snap kit. Very large, a lot more larger than the Bandai kit. Now, I would say you're getting your money's worth with the retail of uh, $29.95 at Walmart for this. Um, you know, you really get a lot of detail here for for the money. Pre-painted, pre-shaded, really cool, really nice. I'm impressed. I really am impressed with this. Open up the side. And uh, that's the one side that snaps together there. Turn it over, we get all the detail on this side. We'll look closer at it. Very nice detail. And it looks like the seat, and even some pieces and parts, and part of the stand it looks like. And I was wrong, it, this actually is one piece that has not been uh, assembled. 
it's actually been painted separately and there's the tampo painting from the factory so there's a wide range of colors here with the painting you have some grays some silver some gloss black here um, some actually some like bluish grayish tint some dark gray with some weathering some gold accents going on in here with some silver I mean there's a lot going on here and they've really put a lot of effort and time into uh, making this pre-painted and of course this is a snap together kit so I am very impressed with it very impressed alright so after unwrapping the second bag with parts in it there's actually a very nice protective uh, covering here for the base and you can see the base is a high gloss uh, so that that is really cool that they took the time and the effort just to cover that up with that special papering here once again everything's pre-painted we do have some awesome details going on with the panels you know, interior parts are all painted and weathered and once again we have some uh, accents a little bit of silver accents and stuff I mean you could probably paint some more on it to bring stuff out or even add even more washes on this I'm not sure how this will do as far as lighting hopefully maybe a little easier to light than the Bandai kit. So open this up. Get a closer look at the main body. And uh, once again pre-painted. There's kind of a, a, a very light gray bluish tint to the color of these. Once again get a closer look and uh, the tampo painting is very nice on this very detailed very nice I mean you can actually add some washes to it some pin washes and you know bring out those panel lines interior panel lines and they even have the little bits of the guns painted red there as you can see right there and right there same with this side You can just see the red painted here and here. Some gold accents painted on the inside here. Let's look at see if there's anything inside. Really no, no details on the inside. However, you know, you could add uh, some interior lighting to this. No decals were included, just the kit instructions. last two parts which were wrapped each wrapped separately is the pilot and the clear parts let's get a closer look at the TIE fighter pilot very good dimensions on this pre-painted very cool symbol on the helmet chest is painted up here really nice nice detail you know, you may want to, oh, it's rubber, rubber too, it's very pliable, very soft, that's cool. And then the clear parts, pre-painted, canopies, very nice, very nice. Kit instructions are your typical Revell type instructions, kind of a booklet style. Uh, very basic steps, not too many steps in each. Um, everything does snap together, so it does make it very simple to build. I think uh, almost anybody can build this. Be a good project for your younger modelers out there. Everything is pre painted. And uh, very nice, total of nine steps. And there you have it. This was the Ravel Star Wars TIE Fighter. And it is a snap to get it together kit. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. See you later.